Episode 160 of Nation Real Life. It's starting now. No intro because we're in Vegas and I don't have the Roadcaster Pro with me. Um, also, you'll notice the audio quality is slightly or significantly worse. That's because we're sitting. <laughs> that, that's because we're sitting in a hotel room, a uh, room just above the 1400s in uh, the New York, New York. 1523, <laughs> Tyler. I, it is a maze to get here, by the way. Yeah, it's a yeah, maze to get up to a hotel elevator, room. Eh? Um, but I'm here, Tyler Remchuk. Bag milk is here. Rick is here. Nick is here. Jay is here as well. Our other roommate is taking. <laughs> someone's having a shower right now. Um, but we all got up to record this at like 9:30 a.m. It's real life, baby. <laughs> that is, it is real life. It, this is like a this is a mashup of Owen Radio and Nation Real Life. I feel like yeah, and a little bit. Bag milk has to make a choice on which hat he's wearing during this podcast. Yeah. So I have to ask you, which hat are you wearing, or toque, or beanie for that matter? It is an Oilers game day, so today is an Owen Radio day. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> yep. Yeah, but it's a Wednesday. What's the real reason everyone's up by 930, though? So, Rick, uh, God bless Rick. He is the trip energy captain. And uh, so his rule that everyone follows is, well, sorry, we're not following or leading anyone, I should say. Let me disclaim that. We're suggesting and saying meet us in places, and that's a conversation that we'll share with you with our lawyers another day. Yes. Um, But the rule is one shot before 10 or 10 before one. You choose. So we have a group chat, which is great. Everyone has to send a video, proof of the crime. So everyone submitted their video before 10 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, <laughs> some of us decided to have porn star lollipop drinks. And others like Those us. Those are vodka with Gatorade. If uh, you listen to bag, if you listen to the vodka. Yeah, I know. He's, no, he's I, changing his story. That's like I said, Gatorade. this is Chum Gate 2.0. He picked up a blue one. I got a red. I got watermelon. They, we expected okay, to cut uh, him. Uh, so we expected my to, point. This is exactly this is the exact, exact shot I'll do at, back at work. But if you listen to it, bagged milk's not going to. Am I going to? I'm going to hear the vodka. Like no, you hear him. Closely, you hear oh, him no, almost. That's you, hard booze. You hear him almost puke. He's not going to puke from a porn star. That was straight up vodka and Gatorade. No, no, that no, was no. not bag, tasty. Bagged milk's a little queasy because we doubled down on the Taco Bell Cantina last night. Let's be honest. And we stole someone's Chick Fil A. No, 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 no. We were quick to jump in on an order. That was for someone with my government name. That was close, too. I uh, mean, melt. yep. <laughs> uh, we'll just say uh, the other individual, I saw, her, I saw her afterwards, and she was crestfallen, bag milk. You, I you, don't ruined, that. you ruined her Tuesday night in Vegas. Was it, the, was it the person who ordered or the, the lady? The person who ordered. She was trying to redeem her order, and she's like, this is not what I fucking ordered. I assume the fine <laughs> folks at Chick Fil A solved the issue for her and hey. saved the day. Vegas, you walked down the strip, elbows up, kill or be killed. You did the right. You did. You did the right thing. You heard your name. Hey, Taco Bell Cantina. If I had it my way, which I think was the way, I could have had three hundred meals because everyone was Jay. I had. That is true. We had set the over under at two and a half for Taco Bell Cantina. So far, we've hit two already. Very confident about hammering the over. Oh yeah. So for those of you at home don't know or haven't been had, had the honor of attending a Taco Bell Cantina, because I know Taco Bells back home are dropping like flies, which is unfortunate. Taco Bell Cantinas are basically a nightclub version of Taco Bell. They're playing loud music. They've got DJs at night. They serve booze, but then you can also get. Oh, the, oh, uh, definitely a, a, a D floor can can occur at any moment in the cantina. It's I remember. A powder keg. I remember the first time I was in Vegas, like six, seven months ago. Um, me and my friends didn't know about the cantina, so it was like one a.m. We're like, "Oh, look, a Taco Bell. We should go in there." And we walked in, and we're just like, "What the fuck is going on in this place? Like, what is this? It's pretty wild." Yeah, and, and you're like, "And they serve booze? Like, this is the, the greatest experience." So, to bring it to one of our sponsors, Oodle Noodle, our downtown 104th Street location. <laughs> Is currently going to try to adopt the cantina atmosphere, but but not till three in the morning like they do here on the strip. But we've just applied for a liquor license, about to get it. We're going to sell very cheap beer for pregame, and then hopefully sell some deep fried wontons and some spring rolls. My favorite is you though, because first thing in the day before we've had no drinks, we're sitting there at the airport, and Jade looks at the menu and asks the lady, "Is this Reuben? Is this thing fried? You know, with like butter?" And they weren't sure. He's like, "Oh." I can't do that. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I gotta eat well. Like I gotta eat well, and then we hit up what Taco Bell toy. I gotta eat well before I get drunk. Yeah, I said I, I gotta eat healthy when I'm sober. And then two o'clock in the morning, we get to Taco Bell Cantina. This guy's got a burrito and a full oat quesadilla in front of him. Oh no! Oh no! No, it was a cheesy crunch. Oh my bad! My bad. Crunch wrap supreme. Is that what it was? Yeah, I, I had know. a taco supreme. No, sorry, the Dorito taco supreme. 
and then a that burrito. burrito was big too. Like you threw down because you know what? Um, you know, I'm I'm an honest judge. Yeah. Uh, the the burrito was a little bland, so I bailed on it because I'm like, oh fuck, I can't just eat this whole thing just for the sake of doing it because I I also feel like shame right now for how much food I just ate. <laughs> so I uh, I had an out of body experience and uh, called it halfway through. That's fair. And Nick Nick with his big heart. We found a oh, we found a gentleman no. passed out. He took his shoes off. He had his feet up. He was having, having a, a rough night. He was having a hell of a sleep though. Yeah, he was. Nick couldn't wake him up. Got security. They eventually woke him up. We watched him like waddle upstairs to the bathroom. I thought for sure this kid's gonna take a nap in the shitter. Before we leave, he comes right back downstairs. Nick double checks on him. I had to make sure he was okay. I, I was, you know, make, he was alone. He was alone in Vegas. You don't know what's gonna happen. That could be any of us. Also, is this is this a liter worth of Bud Light? <laughs> yeah, we have got some crispy boys going on during this podcast, yes. and they are large. This is the, the funny thing about U.S. beer, they don't tell you, like, this beer does not tell you how much is in it and how much alcohol is in it. But I can tell you, and maybe we'll post a photo and actually deliver on it, uh, the, the sheer size of this Bud Light. Unfortunately, I'm staring at a Vegas Golden Knights logo, which is enraging me. Well, they got a game. Obviously, the reason we're in Vegas is for the game tonight, but uh, last night, Tough loss for the Oilers in OT, um, but some of the fresh faces, I, I I was really impressed with them. Wow, we 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 trade for well three guys. Well, did they all all of them get points? Did Green get a point? I don't know if Green got a point, but oh, like, okay. Well, anyways, the two offensive guys that we we trade for clutch goals too. Clutch goals. Well, geez, like we were out of that game like for no reason. No, like first that period, first, peri- first period, the first was period terrible. was horrific. No, no, I know, but like yeah. we were like being down two is tough. Yeah, it's tough. You, I mean, this is the NHL. You don't get there by a scratch ticket. Now, I was, you know. Yeah, yeah. So we've uh, our, uh, our our friend uh, Ian from Lakers Nation came and joined us for the. Well, we, we have to talk about the event that we had. It was unreal last night. But he came and joined us for talking. She's like, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, we'll fold in the third. You guys still got this. And like. It kind of happened, but they still scored that goal. And I was like, Ugh, well, but- the, 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 the power play in overtime was bullshit. It was ridiculous. McDavid gave a guy a little tap on the old thighs, and down he goes. Even Gregor's on our side for this one. Tippett was on the. Tippett, Tippett came out and said anything. something. I, I think. I think. Yeah, fuck. And 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 this is where we need Surveyor Brett here too. Uh, that that guy that guy is such a that guy is such a nice guy. Let me preface it with this. He is a really but nice guy. He stresses me out because we uh fuck, I can't remember which goal it was. I think it was the Athanasiu goal. He he runs right over to me and goes. You think they're going to challenge the offside? I'm like, you <laughs> asshole, don't say that. I was complaining about a call on Twitter, as I do, and he walks up behind me and whispers in my ear, that was a good call. Oh. You get out of here. He's the necessary evil. He, he really wants to come on one of our podcasts. He does. And I, and I think after last night's performance, he deserves to because he's hilarious. Maybe we'll, we, should, we should have him on to like recap the Vegas trip maybe like next week or something. Well, maybe we'll do something with video with him. Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, well, well. Oh, um, here, yeah. Oh, he's doing a little contest. One he was yeah. hilarious during the game, though. He kept talking about. Uh, he was like, "Oh, good icing. I like that. Oh, arm, <laughs> arm right up. That's good right there." Like he, he's just a big fan of officiating, and you uh, gotta respect and, and that. You gotta love it, man. Like I love the passion. That's the thing. Like he, he drives me crazy, but I love him even more for it. I like how the how the referee still like steps down to the linesman, and like you know, I can see that. That's a, that's a great call. That's a great call. To me, I don't think there'd be like they, obviously they're a team, yeah. but it's like first line, fourth line. Referees are first line, <laughs> linesmen are fourth line. I mean, I, I'm not, I've never done either, but that's just kind of the way I see the uh, the whole makeup of their relationship. He he wears the uh, the zebras to the game to to cheer on the refs for sure. But um, can we go- talk about how many people were at our watch party yesterday? Oh man, we'll like so, like we're 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 a group who's not being led by anyone. Nope, it was just assembled because. Oilers Nation is such a great community. Um, is that right? Did it? Hopefully, the lawyers are listening. We're yeah, good. Okay, hundred percent. Cool. Uh, and uh, so, so that that on its own is pretty fantastic. We we traveled with a giant crew yesterday, and that was unreal. But then, you know, we put up the flare saying PBR bar. We're watching the game. Come hang out with us. And PBR bar accommodated us, gave us this whole area. It was an yep. outdoor patio because they're like, oh, the Canadians are coming. We'll put them outside. They can handle like eight degree weather outside. But they had all the heaters. It was fine. Um, and, the, and, I, and there had to have been 150 people there. There had to have been. Every seat was taken. There was people on the fringe trying to get in. There was people on the on the other side of the bar uh, uh, there for it. Like, 
So we like, had a great video. It, it, it probably couldn't even been more. Yeah, that 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 pseudo drone video. The drone video, pseudo drone video, but like the Let's Go Oilers chant video that we got, it was just nobody travels like Oilers fans. Man, it's 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 absolutely the best. I was talking to the bartender uh, when we were all getting ready to get on with our night, which we might talk about later, heading over to Fremont Street. And uh, I asked her, I said, do you ever get uh, hockey fans out like for parties like this on a Tuesday? She's like, not like this. She's like, I've never seen this before. So, And you said, yeah, I know. It was crazy. She, they, they, well, were, fans, they, were all the pretty, they were all pretty stoked up about it. And uh, But inside the bar, very different vibe. Inside that restaurant, it was a very different vibe. Oh, it was I think very, we, very quiet. Yes. <laughs> Until we got inside, after the game was over, we wandered inside. I think, Mister Yeremchuk, were you not the first one on there for uh, representing yeah, us? Yeah, I, I decided to go right at that thing, and yeah, I rode the ball, and I think I did a pretty, I think I did, did a pretty good job. job. Yeah. Um, but I also, I heard, I, I left right after because I wanted to go get more booze. Classic. Um, but I heard that our friend Bag Milk had a good run on the bull. Bag Milk went tw- twice. Did you go twice? I only went the one time. I felt like uh. I'd put on a stellar performance in round one. You know what? You just can't top it. I did. Pr- I did eight plus seconds for sure. I hope there is video of them all because I know I went twice, and the second time I well, chirp- the second time you chirped her. I chir- well, she had, she got um she got uh fuck the I can't remember the, the yeah the operator who was who was running the bowl. She got uh, I can't remember what fucking Chinese place she got, but she didn't get PF Chang's. Oh, and I was like, what PF the hell? Why wouldn't you? She got yeah, exactly. she got Panahot. So I asked her. I was like, hey, why not PF Chang's? She's like, well, we have a PF Chang's guy. He brings us food. We give him booze. I'm sort of kind of tired of it. Whoa. And I was like, okay, Whoa. honestly, I kind of get it. Okay. So then I wander out there. I go to hop onto the bowl. And she as I jump up, she made him spin. Yeah. Like spun out right between my legs. <laughs> but it was, a fun, it was a fun ride, man. I thought for sure I was going to be in pain today. I don't feel any pain. I'm, I'm actually really happy. Now, I know we have big plans for P.F. Chang's for, for lunch. But I, there's, there's, well, yeah, or tomorrow. Or maybe I've got to table something. So there is, there is a rogue oodle noodle in Vegas. There is, yes, because I follow the hashtag oodle noodle just to see what's going on and what people are saying. And I always see these posts of this Vegas because we don't we only have Canadian trademark. We don't have U.S. trademark. There's an oodle noodle. It, I checked it. It's like two kilometers away from here. So we have to go there. It might be today, dates. maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow for breakfast, lunch, or whatever. But we we have to go check. Out. We have to go see who uh, see what they're about and then. Issue them, you know, a napkin that says we're suing you. A cease and desist. Finally, we're on the offensive. <laughs> it's Finally. our turn. It, we're going to sue you, motherfuckers. Just as importantly, though, Jay, we have some big plans today for a VR roller coaster. Oh, so, well, actual true question. So for everyone listening, that might just be us in this room. Uh, we're staying at New York, New York. and there's... One ply, by the way. Yeah. Well, One we didn't ply. upgrade our rooms. We didn't upgrade our rooms, yeah. so you can't have that high expectations. You got a bed, we're good. No, That's two true. plies is the standard. But uh, so everyone, if 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 people don't know New York, New York, or if you do know what New York, New York is, they've got the roller coaster that's going around, and I haven't seen it no. operating yet. I did. You did? I did? Thank God. So they've now got this new layer to it where yeah. you can ride the roller coaster with VR glasses and exp- and have a different experience on it, where like monsters are attacking you. So Bag Milk and I, like Moth to a Flame, are like, we have to fucking do Absolutely this. Absolutely. So have to we do will this. be doing that. We're, uh, it's going to be the Jane Bag Milk, I guess, roller coaster date. No one else is coming with us. I don't know how nobody else wants to do this. I know. I don't get it. I, I literally, like, the advertising works. I'm in the elevator. The doors close, and it's like, VR on the roller coaster. Yes, I need that. First person I see, VR roller coaster. He's like, yes. I'm can, like, I, can I do it without the glasses? No, no, no. no. I don't want it because I, I did the VR. I did the VR thing at the Oilers game, and I like thought I was gonna throw up after. I don't think my brain does well with VR. Oh, I well, just want to ride. Let's the, test it. I just want to ride the roller coaster and like go up the thing. Well, and... yeah, you can. I guess. I guess that's better because we're also sitting here with people that just don't want to go on the roller coaster, yeah. which is unacceptable. Oh, why do I want to shit my pants in public? What? <laughs> why do I want to shit my? I have n- I have no interest in rides at all. Water slides. I can do any water slide in the world. But fucking you went to like Taco Bell Cantina twice last night, and you're worried about shitting your pants on a roller coaster. Oh, that's dude, that's gourmet food. Well, you know, it's a gourmet experience. You can smell the corn tortillas. Like I don't think I've had blocks since, away since I left uh, Vancouver, where I made my last healthy food choice. <laughs> I don't think I've eaten. You I think everything eat I've Vancouver. eaten since has been Taco Bell. You didn't eat in Vancouver. 
Yeah, I did. It. We had Tim Horton. I had a turkey oh, yeah, bacon Tim pop. Horton. Okay, was that a, that's yeah. a healthy choice? I asked for whole wheat bread, but they were out. <laughs> so that's on them. So it doesn't count. <laughs> so that's how we go. Yeah, no, I have no I have no interest in rides at all. Man, I don't like this fucking swings. The little roller coaster at fucking West Edmonton Mall, I'm not a big fan oh. of. Oh, I love this. Yeah, yeah you start doing this. Oh. Dude, all I do is sit there and imagine what happens if my fucking thing lets go and I fucking oh, fly man. that way. Man, so. Well, like, if you're talking about a ride, though, our cab ride to Fremont oh, last night, wow. that was a ride, oh. man. We had the no, best that, seat in the house. That was that. dope. That was dope. My guy driving sixty, number sixty was our car. That dude was he was he was living it. We were fine the whole time. I was sitting in the front. I saw everything. The only thing that sort of got kind of close was when we pulled up and the dude beside us on his left and the guy in front of us. Oh, yeah. And he was like, "I don't want to slow down for this guy." So he sped up and then cut in. But man, Schumacher couldn't have made that fucking move. Oh, so this dude knew what he was fucking so, doing. So for some added context, after we finished riding the bulls, we decided to get freaky and go to Fremont Street. So we hopped in two cabs. So car one, car ramrod was the one uh, Rick was in where uh, Michael Schumacher was. Uh, Speaking left. of shit in your pants, me in the back seat of that oh. thing. So we were in. So we told our. So we're in a van cab, and we told the van guy like, follow that cab. Because wherever they get dropped off, that's where we get off. And so he's trying to keep up, and and his and his van's probably got nine hundred thousand kilometers on it, and you can smell the engine because he's just revving. I'm like, why is he going so hard? So he's like, I have to keep up to this guy. Look at him. This guy is fucking crazy. And then we watch that crazy cutoff move in like basically under the lights of Fremont Street, where he just weaves it to to like gain what like nothing. nothing. It was to gain absolutely nothing. Walk from the Golden Nugget yeah. that he did it. Yeah. We pulled, which is where we got dropped. We off. pulled up to like a right-handed turn where I don't know what the fuck in this this intersection is because there's like 19 lights and it looks like there's fucking 14 different directions. And he was about to go and I was like, dude, it's red, it's red, it's red. And he's like, oh, I was gonna go, but the cops are right there. We we're gonna. <laughs> it was legit. Hey, it was not principle. This was not running a fucking yellow. It was like a red. I was like, man, it's red, it's red. He's like, oh, yeah, no, I was gonna go, but the cops are right there. So I like this guy. I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but you fucking find him. <laughs> Sixty. I don't even know what cab company this is. I think Big Mike got our uh, Big Mike. Big, Big Mike's like, can I have your card? I'm yeah, like, Big oh, Mike A has the number. Yeah, this yeah, guy is like, my buddy. This I'm gonna guy send your a, personal chauffeur. I'm sending this guy a goddamn Christmas card. Oh jeez. I think we. Oh, I think we got to give some love to uh, Old Vegas though, Fremont Street. First time I've ever been personally, and I thought it was pretty fucking cool. What was, it, what it was, was the lady right outside the? What was the lady right outside the uh, casino? What was she asking for? I don't recall. Oh, I don't remember. Who walked in? Who else was with us? Who else was with us at that time? Big Mike. Big Mike. Yeah, no, okay, so he walked in, and we were at the craps table. Yeah. Big surprise. And said something about going outside, and the lady's like, yeah, you can finish on my face. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. All right, so. Goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, you're M. Chuck. You have a decision to make to yeah. keep that in or not. Well, I, either way, I don't care. Um, I mean, we've been swearing a lot. That's pushing it, but. Nah, let it go, man. It's the Vegas pod. I think we gotta All let that right. one go. Hey, let's do it. Oh, oh, Jesus. Fremont gets greasy, man. Yeah, it's Fremont's cool. Like we went, we went to Fremont to experience the freakiness, but also we we landed on a you know we're we 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 we're, we're very budget conscious a little bit on the gambling because I because we hadn't ha- we hadn't got our feet wet yet. Hold on, Hold on. Uh, Young Ty was not budget conscious. Oh yeah. Well, he has no budget anymore. I hope my I hope my girlfriend doesn't listen to this <laughs> podcast. Yeah, that down payment, baby. <laughs> it ain't coming. Why, We're renting spend? now, baby. Um, the American cash I came with is now property of the New York New York Casino. Well, the best. What was thing- the game though? Like, let walk us through it. Oh, what wasn't the game? There was some slot machines. There oh, was yeah. virtual blackjack. Oh, there was real blackjack. We have to form a window kit later. Sorry. Oh, we do. Um, we'll get you back. On there track. was virtual craps as well. Like. Virtual. Yeah, oh, man. Hey, it was just uh, it was a disaster. You gotta stay away from the computers. It's I gotta think, be yeah. it's gotta be real deal. You gotta get in there. Oh no, uh, that's a, that's dance. I move. did get smoked on horse racing, and then I also did get smoked on real roulette. Luckily, it was just all bad. luckily for you though, mm, casino we're st- war. We're still bad. here for like thirty six more hours. You can make all that shit back oh. and then some. Oh yeah, baby, that's the motivation. Beforehand. Don't we're worry, running of, we're running out of time before. Don't worry, Amber. Play. I'm coming home with that down payment. <laughs> so we hit Fremont Street. Because we're still, like I said, we we had aside from Tyler, well Tyler was out of money at that time, I think, but um, <laughs> we we went there to find lower limit craps and we found a five dollar craps. So we played for what an hour and a half, at least an hour and a half. Like, and I got smoked, but getting smoked on a five dollar crap table, I lost a hundred bucks. Like, 
I can I can wake up with that. I lost a hundred dollars betting on the Oilers to win by two last night too. Yeah, I mean but, I was down thirty, but when you factor in the drinks you got, I feel like I was even. Yeah, I had a yeah. So yeah, I felt yeah. I had probably three or four drinks there, so it was pretty good. But uh, I kind of just want to go back to that. Like it's game day, and we have to talk about how exciting what's going to be going on around that. But like, I know isn't is it, isn't that isn't that the best? Like it's just like bang bang. But like last night at the PBR bar was absolutely fucking magic and it was interesting because ian from lakers nation was there and so an outside perspective right so he was he's just sitting there and i'm sitting with him at the bar and he's just asking me all these questions and he's just taking all these photos and he's texting his business partner saying and i was reading what he was saying like he's like he's like there's 150 people here he's like this is such a better sport for for events like this like they're not like he's just like bragging about like how crazy it was he's like look at them chanting he's like these guys are nuts like it was fucking un real like we literally took over a bar on enemy territory the nation moves man man it's just like like if if anyone follows me on social i'm like putting a bunch of soppy shit because like sometimes you have to reflect and feel grateful for things no this was this morning i was sitting outside so i got up so i'm staying with danger i'm staying with danger suede who's actually a really interesting cat um and he's he's here for the trip, but he's also like working while he's here, which is kind of interesting. So he, I kind of think you set your alarm this morning nah. to wake up. Nope, this is why though. Muscle memory. No, I think you set your alarm to wake up so you can get the fucking steps in before everyone else is up and moving. Well, now okay, okay, this was, okay. This was okay. a fucking premeditated move. No, he no, no, lost no, 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 no. Last night, there's there's Bag no milk. Beat him last night, and he's coming back today hard. So there's he no... was up at five fucking a.m. There's some bag milk controversy though. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh I, I need to hear about that. This. Was creative. So, you didn't. Okay. Yeah, you didn't catch it. He was walking around. Oh, he was walking yeah, circles around your table. But, for but an he hour. was walking though. But he was walking. He yeah, yeah, hundred percent. He wasn't faking it. So, no, there's no. Con- yeah, no, so, no. He okay. has to walk. There's some truth to your statement about why. I- well, no, no, no. <laughs> In the sense, I told him this morning. I knew no, 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 no. <laughs> so, for context, Bag Milk and I are in a step off competition, and last night he destroyed me because while I was sitting staring at the television, he was walking around me, <laughs> profusely banking more steps, like which a tiger stalking his prey, yeah. which which. <laughs> Which is valid, but 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 to to your point, I didn't set my alarm to do that. But the minute I woke up, I was like, "Oh, I should I should get out and walk." Like so, like there's like in, in between, there's some truth there. So I did walk around a bit. I'm sitting at I'm not that happy. Forty five ninety three for steps. Oh, well, it's 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 not bad. So I'm only I'm at thirty eight hundred, so I got some work to do. Yeah, so I gained seven hundred steps. Like, but I think you probably you probably uh, banked some more from la- from last night. But so the goal is twenty thousand a day. I don't know what I hit because the clock. I have to go look at my app because once it turns midnight, it resets to zero. I was at sixteen thousand, so we. Oh, so I would have been about. I must I must have been twelve or thirteen. Yeah, well, today's twenty. I I might have to go thirty. I'm gonna be just. Um, well, see, the beauty about tonight is so now we'll talk about the game. So we're going to the rink, T-Mobile Arena, 53 people in the, what they call... The flight deck. The flight deck, which is a standing room, which is good for the step count, standing room area with all-inclusive, all-inclusive booze, all-inclusive food. So us as Canadian hockey fans who will go to an Oiler game, oh, it's Friday night, I'm going to have a few drinks. You were already mentally committing to spending a hundred to hundred and fifty bucks. The beers we're drinking game. right now are literally twenty two dollars yeah. at fucking Rogers. Yeah. So and you got it for what three ninety three? Oh no, I think they went up a bit. I think they're up to like a fucking four oh two here. Yeah, we have to go off strip. We got to find the deals. We got to go Fremont. I bet you the two. We bucks. were also crushing the claws last night. I, yeah, we were. Uh, I've also heard rumors though that just retail beers at T-Mobile Arena are run about seventeen dollars US though. So wow. Yeah, I've heard. Woo! So we're in this we're in this standing room area where the vantage point is great because we did it last year we tested it out, so you have got a great view of the game, and literally, at any moment, and you won't miss one second of hockey. You could literally just go look over your shoulder and say Bud Light, please, <laughs> and literally just put your hand out behind you while you're still watching He'll the fill game. That, hand. that thing will get filled with a Bud Light. And it's it's just it's a smooth transition. It's like it's like nothing ever happened. My favorite part of this is we are like right 
beside the band, right? Ben, they, that's this is their whole little entertainment. We're storming section. the castle, buddy. I gave it to them last year, and we ended up losing, so I had to shut up by the time we were losing. But I think I'm feeling real good about today. Oh yeah, I saw you put your fucking uh, your brown bill down on the game. Yeah, I put a Benjamin down, which right. is a brown bill and a green and a purple and I think a blue when you convert <laughs> it. Uh, but yeah, like, your conversion rate so, last night was horrible, by the oh, way. Oh yeah, yeah. But, eight eight dollars, eight dollars to use the ATM. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think I'm a, starting. I'm starting idea, to yeah, yeah. think. I'm Feeling starting. It. I'm starting to think Vegas is set up to win for themselves. <laughs> what I'm. Did I'm you say? Uh, one ply, one ply toilet paper and eight dollar transactions. I took this out, is ridiculous. I took out four hundred dollars yesterday, which is a lot of money, U.S. Which and and I probably just got absolutely bent over on the conversion. <laughs> you did. But then they charged an eight dollar, seven dollars and ninety nine cent fee U.S. to withdraw that money. So I'm a banker in a former life. <laughs> so they just charged me two percent of my money on one day money. You amortize that over a year for a rate of interest? That is 730% interest I paid so I could have my money from the ATM. So you can't even win on an ATM in Vegas. You got your I, I, I lost more on that ATM than I did at craps, if you think about it. Yeah, I need more money and I I'm not like <laughs> I'm not, uh, Go fund me for a yum chunk. I'm not, I'm not liking my chances of finding a CIBC uh, ATM anywhere. Hey, that's probably not going to happen. No, you've got to. Uh, I've got a twenty-five dollar chip from um, from Excalibur from last year's trip. I could give you for thirty Canadian. No, that's if you're if you're smart, if you're smart, you do all your sports gambling online and leave the fucking the books alone because you do have to pay that fucking conversion. Well, shout out to our friends at Odd Shark for that statement right there. But shout out for Tyler do, uh, doing double duty right now, calling yeah. into the radio show. Uh, yeah. He's going to do legit media right now. So oh, he's on low so tide. Now that Tyler's don't gone, turn on low tide right now. Now we have to tell the real story. He <laughs> yeah. doesn't have Wi-Fi, and so he has to upload this podcast. Yeah, he's hot using his hotspot on his phone. So the longer the podcast is, the more damage we do to his phone. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think we should probably just keep running as long. As, like a Joe Rogan style. We should style just take the laptop podcast. and just walk around the strip. Yeah, and do like cor- and do like quarter confessions. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, what was it? Speaker's Corner. Speaker's Corner. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand how he can't get on Wi-Fi, though. Like, why did the rest okay. of us figure it out? We, had to, we were trying to figure this out yesterday. And we we didn't want to do it, but we we called Big Mike. We're like, Mike, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. And he could even figure out. Big Mike could even figure out what the fuck's going on with. with See, that's Tyler's that's really weird because where we were, they're like, "Hey, it's my last name," because I was the captain of the room or whatever the fuck it was. It was my last name and the four digit room number. So we get up to our room, we click on the fucking free Wi Fi, and it just jumped right on. We yeah. didn't even have to fucking put in our passwords. We're just giving it away. But here's my question: You think I don't think he's done it yet? You go to low battery mode yet? No, because I've charged my phone. It's because I, I yeah, started at a deficit. Yeah, but it's 10.30 today. Yeah, but I've got the iPhone 11. So do and I. That thing, but, and, that, and, and that thing, well, hey, I'm, I'm flexing hard here. And it's the Pro. I've got the three lenses. Oh, he's got the three, he's got the three lenses. I've got the three lenses. Do I use them? No. no. <laughs> but they're there. But uh, that, the battery life on that thing is It's really is good, but you don't, so, don't want to fucking test it, So here's my it, plan though. for today. It's game day. Yeah. We're doing a bunch of shit. I'm going to yeah. take a bunch of photos. I'm going to put more... More soppy and appreciative, grateful <laughs> content on the internet because I'm actually very happy and proud with After this you get whole Jack and everything yeah. that's happening. I've had an Apple. I, was it Apple Jack? Oh, so I had I had the Saskatchewan Diesel. Dude, I don't know how you drink like out of those. It's my I shot can drink out of 10. a fucking glass. Yes, for anyone listening, I he did. I, I, was, I, I, I dude, brought I was, the. I was. I man. Oh, he will. You will walk into the. You will. You will walk into, the, you will, will walk into the bar these days. And I'll go to like, give everyone shots. He'll try and say no. no and okay. then we're talking just like vodka because you're trying to be responsible. However, when you do this, he just grabbed a fucking Jack. He walked up somewhere and said, I want that fucking Jack Daniels, please. Deep down inside, you know, like I've, I've got my inner Frank the Tank. It's, oh, it's I, easier. And I have to. It's my easier. inner Hulk. I have got to tame it. But I'm on vacation. When I'm on vacation, I just let it loose. But at home, I know. I know. To be responsible. That when I go to the pint downtown <laughs> and I see Rick and he feeds me full of shots. I have got a horrific hangover that is lasting days. Well, get days. ready because come like I April seventh, April seventh or eighth, you're not on the I can't do shots train anymore. 
But that's different. Yeah, I know. It's all circumstantial, my friend. Because my work when it's playoffs is playoffs. Oh, I know it is. It is that that is I it. watched End you of guys, story. I, it is just being present in the playoff. I moment. watched you and Wanye leave like fucking Thailand or something like that because the Oilers are almost in the playoffs with Yak. I, I and by like, the time they fucking got here, we were like nine points out and we were like fucking eliminated. <laughs> it doesn't happen doesn't happen often anymore but if you ever see Wani out in the wild he is a fiend for those shot, jack shots so oh, yeah, i know i don't know i don't know what it is about you two but when he buys when, trays of them yes yeah when when the juices are flowing yeah, still jack, jack daniel i think you guys probably go through at least a 40 whenever Wanye is out but it's it's one of those things too where Wani will buy a f- a tray of jack shots and nobody wants them. No. So what ends up happening is Wanye drinking a tray of jack shots. So I don't know what it is. Um Wanye's just got that that those jeans that the Mickey he, Mantle jean that he doesn't that he doesn't get hung over. Like really he doesn't like and, and, and it's very rare if he does, but like like he's, he's he's getting old he's getting on in age. <laughs> and like <laughs> And uh, well, as am I, and like, and, the, and this guy still can live his best life the next day. But like, if I go through that routine, like, I am, I am literally living in a fog for five After days. After the shift we put in yesterday, I was worried about the hangover I had. I thought that if I fought the claw and the claw won, <laughs> ah, yeah. but we felt great this morning. It was a fog. I we I right before bed last night. I've, Dropped into a couple Advils. I think I try these. I chugged a liter of Pedialyte before I went. Here, to bed. my real question is: Your roommate? I want to speak to your roommate yeah, because what was what was your largest fear? Or you, what what do you yeah. do when you get drunk? So I'm an interesting uh, drunk. <laughs> He's very much interesting is. drunk sleeper. We have lots of fucking stories. I know, and uh, and I forgot to warn him, and I and I meant to. So is, you walked back. In, was he sleeping when you got there? Yeah, he was KO'd. Yeah, and, uh, and I I probably just made an absolute disaster of an entrance. Like, as I'm carrying all this stuff, I'm still eating, you know, Bag Milk and I split that mint chocolate Kit Kat bar, which was a beautiful dessert after Taco Bell Cantina. It was wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm of the school that mint and chocolate belong together. You know, well, frozen or not, like... You also made that joke wherever we were at, like Walgreens or whatever it was, where you look over and you're like, that bottle of Blue Label is 400 and some dollars, and the guy behind the counter is just like, yeah, we never, we're never gonna sell that. Yeah. Well, geez, like, what the hell? Like, when is? I actually worked in like nicer dining rooms back in my younger years, and legit, that shit is fucking expensive. Yeah, but it's it's. it's they look. They had a they had a bottle of Dom for three hundred. So like, like that's that's honest fucking restaurant numbers. Big yeah. nickel, no. I'm, I'm yeah, three hundred. I'm, I'm gonna and flex, the blue la- I'm gonna, I'm blue label's like here. fucking fifty bucks a shot or I'm something stupid. I'm gonna flex stupid. hard here. Oh, yeah. I own a bottle of blue label. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I yeah, it's <laughs> trust me. If I apply for a loan at the bank, it is I I I I, I list it as an asset and I say how full the bottle is. I've got a half full bottle of Blue Label, but I paid 250 Canadian. And the reason why I have the Blue Label is I, I like to if if I if if something great happens or a win happens, like I have a, a, a I, have, I like Scotch. I have I have a Blue Did you Label. Blue Label with the day uh, Bill Daly turned over the golden ticket. I didn't have the bottle then. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't have the, I, means. I, 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 I didn't have oh, the yeah. means to purchase that so bottle. So you like bought it right after, after that because I was like, ticket t-shirt, shit, I need something I had the now. means. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I figure. I feel like But yeah. anyways, we, so we're off the rails. We have to go back to our boy, Danger Suede, who, who and I are sharing a room together. So I'm, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm in Vegas. I'm getting after it. We're having a great time. But when I go to bed after a night of drinking, I like to talk. <laughs> I I just wake up and I will talk. I will tell you off. I will yell. I'll 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 I'll, I'll always say something articulate, or I'll just yell, or I'll say something relevant, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll freak. Uh, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. We're in Vegas. I'm drinking a liter Bud Light right now. I'll tell you a tale. I will tell you a tale. I had a shot of JD. What did you have? Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, anyways, so. So I, I forgot I forgot to I forgot to forewarn Danger Suede because I, I'm I'm in Vegas so I'm getting after it that I'm probably gonna yell at you at some point tonight so and I forgot to do the debrief because I, I I got out of there as quick as possible to get my steps in on bag milk so I'll do a debrief with them because it's definitely gonna happen 
If it didn't happen last night, which I guarantee it did, it probably happened tonight. So I'll tell you a story. I'm going to I'm going to sh- I'm going to share with you a vulnerability. So yes, yes, yes. Remember, I told you I'm 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 just inspired by this whole trip. I'm in an emotional state, so I'm going to share this with everyone. So I my former life, I was a banker. I worked at ATB Financial, excellent company. I was a commercial lender. So they took the whole um, business unit from Calgary and Edmonton and Red Deer, or whatever, and we went to Lake Louise. It was great. It was I'm like, like I'm like I I I only saw this in movies where like you go on corporate <laughs> retreats where they take you. And I'm like, this is a free trip to Lake Louise. This is fucking unreal. And once again, to flex again, because I'm drinking, so maybe there's a little bit of arrogance coming out. I was going to be the recipient of the President's, Aw- President's wow. Award because I was the top small business lender. President's for the year. Trophy winner. President's Trophy winner. Didn't touch it. Okay, so qu- quick recap. President's Trophy recipient, iPhone 11 Pro owner. Yes. And what was the other Blue one? label bottle Blue owner label as well. Ball. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Very. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's at half now. For the record, I also have a iPhone 11 Pro. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Bag Belk is on the team. So I'm sharing a room with a coworker, great guy, um, and uh, whatever. Yeah, we go out as a team, and uh, we have well, yeah. Every, everyone's having fun because this is like a free trip. This is crazy. I never thought like that shit like this happened. So everyone's having a blast. So whatever, we retire to our room. Everything's fine. Get up in the morning. We're talking. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. He's acting fine. And then I was like, "Hey, man." I'm like, "You know what?" I'm like, "I sometimes talk in my sleep." Uh, when I drink and he's like, funny, you would say that. Yeah. Like, um, so you got up last night, you shot out of bed and sat at the edge of your bed and stared at me and yelled at me, Richard, Richard, Richard. And then I woke up and I'm like, what, what? And then you yelled at me. I want to masturbate. (laughs) I was like, Wow. How do we, how do we, uh, how do we get, how do we go back? How, how do we repair this? And the next day, Jay quit the bank and started Oilers Nation. Yeah. Oh, well, Oilers Nation was already kind of happening. Bag Milk and I talked about this last night at the end of the night. We talked about you and your yelling and stuff. We made up like scenarios and stuff of like what he may have done. And I promise you, neither one of us came up with anything that close to being that good. Oh, can you tweet at Danger Suede right now to see if I yelled at him last night? About mas- was- please, please add in the masturbating part. Did Jay wake up and yell at you that he. <laughs> Please, please. So Tyler came back from his uh, real job, and uh, I think he, it's worse than it ever he has was. No idea hey. <laughs> so I mean, obviously, people that listen to the podcast know I'm the serious one who tries to keep things on the rails. I had someone come to me yesterday, They're like, "Hey, listen to the podcast." I have a real good story about Calgary to say that he does not keep it on the rails yeah. that well. Um, <laughs> but oh, yes. so I had someone come to me yesterday, and they were like, "You're not as serious as you are on the podcast," and I'm like, "No, when I'm not working, I can be fun sometimes." Um, but yeah, I had it's a where I when I left, we were talking about the game. I went and did a radio hit with Low Tide, came back, and we're talking about Jay yelling, about Jay yelling yeah, okay. Jay, Jay, how was your relationship with uh, Richard after that? Well, like I, like I said, I'm like, how do we, like, how do we repair this? Because, like, I've just, I literally just, like, and maybe I exposed myself, I don't know, like, I don't know how, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know if he, how, like, because he was being nice about it, because, because, like, he, he was just mad at the fact, he's like, yeah, like, you said that. And I was like, holy shit. And, but like, I think like he was like respecting my dignity, but not. I, I, did you ask I him did? if you, uh, if, did you ask him if you like started? Uh, I couldn't, man. Like, oh, that's, fair, you, that's fair. That's fair. That's you, fair. Like, that's fair. I don't know if you, uh, I'd be able to either. Yeah, no, it's it. it and then finish on his face. But uh, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I, uh. Well, it's, it's there's no it's rules relevant. in Vegas. There's it's no topic rules. relevant. Tyler's losing the file for this podcast after we're done. Well, I I I'm, I'm, I can't wait till I'm waiting till we hit a terabyte of data for him to hotspot this with. But uh, yeah, so yeah, let's reach out to Danger Suede. I, I tweet. I just tweet at him. We'll yeah, see and, and and sometimes I don't say things that articulate. Sometimes I just yell and I'm like ah, and I'm incoherent. But like. I feel like well, it was because he could he could under I used I used words. I feel like Richard would understand. You know, sometimes you gotta let the poison out. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, you know what? I'm gonna pull your M chum here, and uh, 
Let's bring it back to the game. Oh. <laughs> There's a game tonight. No, I got to change gears. Oh. <laughs> the, the boys from Utah. Oh, yeah. that's what I meant to bring up about the event. Yes, thanks, Mel. The boys from Utah. There's three mountain men. I love these guys. Man. Their names are the best. We know them as Goat, Lil Bro, and Hillbilly. Hillbilly. What kind of nicknames are these, man? I'm not so sure they are nicknames. They might be actual government names. Well, yeah. so Mrs. Towelboy um, she claims. She was claims. Because their friends on Facebook says that's not his name. But, like, anytime he buys nation gear, like... He always puts goat. He's, it's goat. Like, you have to put you have to put your name. Like, your credit card information has to match your name to for the transaction to process. That's Mrs. Towelboy? Yeah. So the guy with her is Towelboy? Oh, you never met? Oh, no, you met him. No one introduced me to Towelboy. Oh. I didn't know that so was So they won the 5149. That's what they call it here. Fucking lame as shit. But they won the 5149 wow. at, at the, on our trip last year. How much did they win? They won 38 was, grand. 38 grand, yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a life changing sum of money. They yeah, call it 5149. It's 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 a Vegas thing. It's we do, we do the stupid Saturday thing where it's seventy thirty or sixty five or whatever. Yeah, but at least we use round numbers. Back to the Utah boys. Back to the Utah boys. So we go to the bar last night for the Oilers game, the Oilers Anaheim game, depending when you're listening to this, and they show up with two massive. Why, it'll change. It could be <laughs> two massive boxes, and they put them down on the table, and they present us with. Oilers Nation pint glasses, Oilers Nation water bottles, Oilers Nation pendants, Oilers Nation shot glasses, Oilers Nation noisemakers. Yeah, like cowbells. They had gifts for everybody. The best part about the cowbell is when uh, Bag Milk was up on the uh, on the bowl, we kept saying, Bag Milk, ring the cowbell. He goes, where is it? <laughs> it's been around your fucking neck for three hours. Listen, <laughs> listen we put in a shift yesterday. <laughs> There is no spatial awareness. And didn't you also meet a, a friend who was also from Utah that wasn't even part of that group that just yeah. showed up? Yeah, there was uh, there. Well, there was a guy in an, one of our. I mean, it, there's a there's a grizzly on the front. One of our nation gear. Oh shirts. yes, yes. The uh, yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's it's a bear on a t-shirt. Yeah, that's that's fine. He came. He also came in from Utah because he knew he saw that we were here. Yeah. I also met someone from the Yukon that flew in because he saw that we were here. The nation, oh, the fingers of the nation reach deep across <laughs> this. Yeah. Now, you're sounding like Jay uh, after a night of drinking. <laughs> Are you sleeping? <laughs> well, another guy was, uh, did you talk to the long haul trucker guy? No, I didn't get a chance. So this guy is a long haul trucker and he planned his route mm. to stop in Vegas to come to the event. And he's going to try, he's hoping that we, he can get a ticket with us too. So like he's got his truck. Uh, yeah. Isn't that fucking nuts? Like you go, and that's the thing. Is like, it's it's a fucking community, and we're gonna get soppy again. But it's a community, and then when you talk to these people and you hear their stories about why they're there or how or this, it's fucking nuts. They just want to come hang out with us. Like we're nobodies. We're just like have some fucking fun, yell about sports, and then yell about other things. And you get a little drunk. Well, but and, hey, and, and uh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, the Utah boys are like, "Where's your M truck?" Because they're like excited to. To see you because they listen to you and you're fucking not even paying attention. You're texting on your phone. Um, uh, it, they're like, "Where's your M truck?" Like, I, w- I want to meet him. I hear him all the time. Like, like it's just cool. Like, it's just like fuck. It's we're beyond just, cool. We're yelling in microphones in a hotel room about finishing on people's faces, <laughs> and somehow we've got you know an audience of you know three hundred thousand people that follow us daily on what we say and do. Like collectively, it's it's fucking insane. Yeah, man, I love. I, I was talking to uh, I was talking to Goat and. Uh, he was talking like I was like, so why why are you an Oilers fan? And he, there's like no. He was just like, man, I grew up watching. I watched Gretzky. I watched Gretzky, and I loved it. And I'm a loyal guy. Yeah. And he, like that has transformed into. And I think that's what's special. What's special about the nation is even these people who are all the way down in Utah who don't get the games on TV all the time, who don't get you know the newspapers and all that growing up. They now have a place where like it's for the fans, right? I think that's super dope. Oh, and like so he's going around. So there's 53 of us. So he's got 53 swag kits for everyone. And he is going around, and when he hands it to you, he goes, thank you for supporting Oilers Nation. That's what he is going around and saying to everyone. I kept saying to I, I, I think the over-under on me saying to Goat, you guys did not have to do this. And all he would say back is, yeah, we do. Yeah. They're just the best people. So grateful that they're here. They go out of their way. Like, they drove here. 
from yeah, Utah. Six hours. To come hang out and do the events. And I'm super pumped to hang out with them again at the game tonight because they're just the nicest guys. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's 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 super humbling. Uh yeah, no, they're they're the best and like there there's but there's you know, like you, you go around and meet all these other people too, like and they're just everyone's just fucking great. I We're cannot just... wait to see who shows up at Beer House. Oh yeah, that one's tonight. gonna be wild. Like we had hundred and fifty people at a fucking I've, my PBR DMs bar. have been getting blown up yes. on Instagram Excellent. today. Just being like, What's the plan? We're going to the game. Yeah. I know we're not on the trip, but what's the plan? Yeah. So I cannot wait to see who shows up at Beer yeah. House. I've got to shout out uh, AMA Travel for making this happen. They were able to get all of the plane tickets and the hotel rooms and get us all coordinated and our airport transport. Everything worked flawlessly, so it's been fantastic. But we do have a game tonight. Yes, we do. Oilers, Golden Knights, Edmonton, 4-0 on back-to-backs this year. Hello. Hello. Well, and and, and like... Oh my god! Like I think I found an edge. I went down to the sports book and I'm like, "What are the odds for the Oilers to?" We're win recording today? this at like 9 a.m. and you're like, like, "Yeah, so I went out to the sports book already today." <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm like, they're like plus 195. I was like, "Uh, are you sure?" They're like, "I'm like, is that like, like that's not just like that's in overtime if they win?" He's like, "Yeah, they just have to win." I was like, "Money line." Holy fuck! So that hundred I lost yesterday, I'm 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 gonna bet my way out of that trouble. Also, I need to give some love to the fine folks at Yegberger. Wasn't able to do my pregame pod yesterday. I'm going to try to do it today. Like I, we, Me and Nick recorded one yesterday, but the internet doesn't connect to my laptop here. Well, let's have a, you know what, let's just shoot the shit and make this the pregame pod, too, because it's right. going to get released let's right now. Let's make it the pregame pod. Let's Brought to you by the fine folks at Yegberger. Yegberger, it's Edmonton's best burger joint, home of the 152 burger. Find them in person at 151 3121st Street Northwest, or you can even order them on Skip. Uh, yeah. Well, he's it's good. well. The, here's the thing about Yegberger, it's fucking unreal. It is, man. I've had it. <laughs> My go-to on Sunday mornings when I'm hungover and want to watch football during the NFL season, I skip the dishes. Yegberger. It's uh, oh my god, man. And they put. Mm, I just I can't even yeah. really get into it right now because I'm gonna pull a J yeah. right here. No, no. no <laughs> I, I, <laughs> but he, but he mad there. He does like honestly, man. That guy yeah, cooks man. with passion. And like when you hear that guy's story. About why he opened the egg burger. It's fucking cool. Like, cooking was always this guy's passion, and he left a really good job to open up the egg burger. And I fucking love it. And you go there and you taste it, and it's good. And uh, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm proud yeah. that they're part of the team. Um, so this is now the Oilers Nation pregame podcast. <laughs> uh, your bet of the game lost, or my bet of the game, I should say, lost last night. So I am down to my record on the year. What was the bet of the game? The bet of the game was just Oilers money li- or Oilers in regulation. I was like, folks, this is an easy chance to double up your bankroll, and uh, it didn't work. What was the other bet though? I also put a significant amount of money on the Oilers to win once it got to overtime. And no, 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 no. Oh, I'm talking about Leon fucking Leon minus three and a half shots. All he had to or, do was get yeah, fucking over, four. Over three and a half yeah, shots. Yeah, over three and a half shots. All he had, what did we watch? We watched a post. We watched a deflection yeah. that went over the net at the crossbar. We watched him pass the corner, which was whatever. You're always going to, but he was right there. And a fucking deflection. And he got three. Oh you my three. god, he was literally one away. You didn't know it was that close. Uh, you didn't know it was that close, I didn't did know it was you? That close. Um, right, look, you know what, though? Night. Folks, that's where we're going tonight on your Oilers Nation pregame podcast. Bet of the game, your my record on the year, 1933 and 7. <laughs> that is borderline embarrassing, but Leon is crushing the shot total tonight. Over three and a half shots, live from the T-Mobile Arena, which I can literally turn yeah, around right now. and look at right now, live from Vegas. Um, I'm just going to do it roundtable style. We're going to go around. Everybody, we'll start with Jay. Give me your key to an Oilers victory. Well, we're the kings of back-to-backs. Let's just start with that. Yep. Uh, key to another victory is, you know what? I think, I think they're going to be pretty pissed off with uh, with what happened last night, and I think they're going to just kind of come here and steamroll. And I think what we saw happen at the end of the game, the the uh, the the gelation, the chemistry forming. Gelation is yeah yeah t- trademarked. Don't use it. You have to give me a nickel if you do. <laughs> of Athanasiu, Ennis, and Connor McDavid. To that me, is I th- sex on ice. To me, I think the key is a better start than they got yesterday in Anaheim. That first period was rough. Yeah, they hit a couple of posts. I was, I was, I was almost a ginormous buzzkill for our best. When they went down by two, and you're just looking at it like, what is going on, boys? You need to put the kettle on. They're, they they needed to put the kettle on. They were outshot ten four after the first period. By the end of the game, the Ducks only had nineteen shots. They turned it around in the se- last two periods for sure. But uh, I'm just gonna say it. Miko Koskinen. Smith. Miko Koskinen. 
Koskinen. Miko Koskinen. Smith was a little shaky yesterday, so I think if they get a really good uh, game out of Koskinen, they could turn it around. For that them. goddamn poke check goal was a killed us right there. Dude, just keep the puck out of the net. Don't worry about anything else. Dude's got one hand on his stick. What the fuck is he going to do? You know what the, the key is, though? Pull, everybody play this game like Connor is still hurt. They came out. They all played a much different game when Connor was hurt. They all felt like they all had to you know, do their little part a little bit more. And I was really worried when Connor came back that maybe everyone's going to kind of take that step back, give the puck to Connor and kind of do that little thing. Come back, play like Connor's not there. And then Ennis and Ath- Athanasiu. Good luck, boys, because you guys got the best trades of the year. The golden ticket. Oh, my God. Yeah, the, the golden ticket. Um, Yeah, my key to the game is special teams, man. I, I think they're going to get three or four chances on the power play, and if they can get hot and bury a few, you're going to give yourself a great opportunity to win this game, Edmonton's power play. Obviously, we've been talking about it all year on the Oilers Nation pregame podcast. It has been absolutely dynamite. Oilers versus Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, Vegas' record on home ice, they're, they're a pretty good road team, I will say. Or a pretty good home team, I should say, sorry. Um, their home record on the year, 19-10-4. Like, that, they know how to win on home ice. Edmonton's been a good road team, and you know what? Vegas hasn't played a home game with Oilers Nation in the building yet this year. So that record means, generally, jack shit. Uh, this has been another Oilers Nation pregame podcast brought to you by the fine folks at Yegberger. I can't get Skip the Dishes down here in Vegas, but if I could, I would be ordering Yeg Burger right now. Their item of the month is the Honey Hot Buttermilk Chicken Burger. You only got a couple more days left to order that, and you also have the uh, Red Velvet Milkshake is the milkshake of the month. How good do those sound? God, you sell that with such passion. Like, I'm because starving. I, I honestly fucking love Yeg Burger. Uh, thanks for tuning in to an Oilers Nation pregame podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Rumchuk, and I will talk to you once again on Saturday as the Oilers take on the Winnipeg Jets. Saturday! <laughs> and now we're back to a... a and record Oilers Nation Radio. <laughs> 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 yeah, Bag Milk just said we're going to record Oilers Nation Radio right now. Um, I, I think that's another pod. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Episode 160 of Nation Real Life was a ton of fun. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the audio quality. It's the best we could do in room 1423 at the New York, New York. But uh, thanks to Jay, Nick, Rick, and Bagged Milk, and uh, my buddy Wap, who just sat in his bed on his phone the whole time. I uh, really appreciate that effort. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Episode 160 of Real Life is over.